Hey everybody, all right, welcome to brush lesson number three. Okay, so I really hope you worked on uh, lesson number two. If you haven't, go back to that, spend a little bit of time on that because it's gonna get a little more challenging. So in this exercise, what's gonna happen now is we're still gonna create our circle, okay? Or football, <laughs> if you wanna call it that. Um, but what's gonna happen now is we're gonna cut the time in half. So instead of going one, two, three, four, I actually wanna slow down the right, uh, the left hand, I'm sorry, and go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So my one and three is up here, my two and four is down here. And you can do the opposite if you wanna start down here and go one, two, three, four. It's completely personal, they both work. Uh, my tendency, and I change stuff once in a while too, you'll notice that when you're playing that things might change accidentally. They're wonderful little accidents sometimes. Is I might go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A good way to realize that if we start adding the hi-hat to two and four is wherever your two and four is, let's say, which is mine is down at the bottom here, should be when the hi-hat's going down, that's when my brush should be here, right? One, two, right? Three, four. One, two, three, four. Put that in time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So be careful. You don't want to be going one, two, three, four, one, two, because even if this tends to stay in time, I know that was kind of a goofy example, this needs to stay in time. I mean, they all got to work together. There's a harmony that has to happen here. So let's really get that happening before we even add the right hand. One, two, three, four. 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 Cool. So I hope that's working for you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the right hand to quarter note. So without the left foot, one, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? If you can get that, let's add the hi-hat to two and four. Remember where your two and four is, whether it's up here or whether it's down here, that's your call. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you start at the bottom, one, two, your two and four and your hi-hat are up there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I tend to do both. It depends on the mood I'm in, <laughs> I guess. One, two, down to the bottom, four. One, two, three, four. The main thing is consistency. You have to have that consistency. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So it's starting to sound like something. You'll notice it's like, hey, it's starting to sound like something. But the key uh, issue is that the left hand has to keep perfect time. One, two, three, four. 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 That is the next thing to practice. Okay, cool. So go practice that, and I'll see you at the next exercise. Have fun. Happy drumming.